Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we have a Sephora haul. I know, I feel like I just did one and now here we are again. And this is a collective haul, so I didn't buy all of this in one shopping spree. It's been basically since my last haul where I mentioned Sephora products. So, uh, let's just get into it because it's going to be a long video as per usual. I do have other makeup things to haul, but I'm going to do that in a part two, which will be like BoxyCharm, Colourpop, Glam Light. So yeah, this one just Sephora. I'll start with the like, what do you call these? Sets, I guess, because somehow... I have four of them <laughs> and this is not in any order so this first thing is the Sephora favorites gleamy dreamy good for you clean beauty must-haves you guys know they usually get me with these Sephora favorites kits especially the clean beauty ones because I feel like they always contain some like trendy products or like products that are very new and everyone is talking about so yeah this one says it was $52 but it's Canadian but it's a value of 154 and there's three full-size products actually one two three four full-size products so let's open this this is what it looks like I was just really excited when I saw this and I had to get it. I feel like I didn't even pay full price. I might have had like a $10 off coupon or something because usually I don't buy the Sephora Favorites kits full price even though they are a good deal. I still, I don't know, I like to get them on sale. So the first thing we have here is a full size Tower 28 Bronze Eno. So that's their cream bronzer, although this looks very light for a bronzer. <laughs> the shade is Sun Coast, and I have not touched this yet. I haven't even opened it. Um, so it looks like this. It's the same packaging as their cream blushes. Oh, this looks more like a highlighter. That's the shade right there. So we'll see what I do with this. I mean, right now I'm kind of well, this is a tan for me, so this would be more like a highlighter that I would apply probably in the same, like, region as my bronzer. But, yeah, I was, I've always wanted this product. It was on my loves list for a while, so when I saw it was in the kit, that's, like, another thing that, you know, pushed me over the edge to actually get this. This product is something I never would have bought but I feel like it made sense in this kit because it's so it's supposed to be like a travel kind of kit you know um, and it's the Fenty Beauty gloss bomb dip so it's actually the Fenty Glow gloss bomb but in this like weird 90s beeper packaging <laughs> At least if you're my age, um, I don't know if you guys had that beeper that was like blue but like acrylic. I think it was a Nokia. I don't know, but I had that. Anyway, that's what it reminds me of. And yeah, I already have this product in the actual like lip gloss packaging. But I thought it was kind of cute to be in this little bag and you could take it with you and just like quickly, you know, dab it on. I don't know, we'll see in practice, but I'm kind of not mad about this product being in here, although I never would have bought it on its own. Um, this one is another one that I was excited to see. It's the Rare Beauty Pore Diffusing Primer. So I do actually have the illuminating primer in the same like packaging, but this is the pore diffusing one. and. Normally I don't go for 
pore blurring primers, that kind of thing. I'm more into like hydrating, illuminating. But I heard really good things about this and I heard people with dry skin like it as well. So I have high hopes for this one. This one is um, a product by Refi. I never tried this brand. I feel like it's very like viral on TikTok, but no one on YouTube seems to like it. <laughs> I don't know. I've seen pretty bad reviews of like every product from them. So I don't know about this one. I actually haven't heard anyone talk about it. It's the gloss highlighter. Uh, is there a shade? I think there's not a shade. Of the oh yes, there is. Gloss highlighter in topaz. So it's obviously a mini size and it's a cream highlighter. Let's swatch it. I haven't even like opened the products in here because I've just been so like on the go. Oh, that's very dark. I think it's very bronzy. Well, I guess on camera it looks kind of champagne, but in the tube, oh, it looks quite bronze if you can tell. This may actually be good. I don't know. Because it looks nice and sheer, but you can still see the glow of it. We'll have to test it out though. <sighs> yeah, I'm just going quickly because I'm sweating profusely. <laughs> uh, and I can't turn the fan on because it's very loud. This one is another full-size product. It's the ABH Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel, the clear one. I have heard a lot of good things about this too. And when I first saw this packaging, I thought this was a mascara, but it's actually the brow gel. It's like a big packaging for a brow gel. But I don't have anything to say about this because I am, I actually just finished sort of recently my milk makeup clear brow gel and then i opened my kosas clear brow gel and then i have like two other brow gels clear that i got in boxycharm so i won't be breaking into this like anytime soon unless i roll it in to a shot my stash randomly but yeah so another clear brow gel but i have heard really good things about it and clear brow gel is actually something I use every time I do my makeup, so I don't mind having multiples of them. Another full-size product that I'm very excited about because I've wanted this forever, basically since they launched, it's the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in, can I see it here, Wherever Walnut. So these pencils are like multi-use, like you can use them as eyeliner, as lip liner, I guess that's it, <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, it's basically for your whole face and I love this shade, it's like a neutral nude, brownie nude, and I think I'm really gonna like it, um, but it's still in the plastic because I haven't used it yet. And the last thing in this bag, which I could have not, like, this could have not been in the bag, and I still would have bought it, <laughs> because I don't like this. It's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, and I have had many of these over the years. I feel like Sephora is obsessed with this mascara, and they put it in every Sephora Favorites kit, although no one really seems to like it that much because it flakes so i don't know i think my mom had this too already for me having given her <laughs> multiples and she didn't like it either so i'm not sure what i should do with this i don't know i might give this to a friend um because if i keep it around like it's just gonna be in my mascara drawer and I already know I don't, it's not my favorite. So yeah, I'll probably give this one away, but there was a mini of this in the bag too. If that might be your favorite mascara, I don't know. So yeah, 
that was in there too. And that was everything for this little kit. I wanted to do a video of a full face just using the products in here, but I never got around to it and now I feel like it's too late. <laughs> but if anyone cares, I could still do that. I did it for the last Sephora favorites, the clean makeup one. And that ended up being like my favorite makeup look ever. So yeah, let me know if you want to see that. But anyway, I need to move on because I'm taking way too long. Um, then I got this Fleur Discovery set of their Eau de Parfum um, because everyone is like losing their mind over this brand apparently, I guess from TikTok. Especially the missing person and the not your baby fragrance. So I did try the missing person already because I was very curious about it. People were saying it like it will bring you back to like old memories and whatever. Um, I didn't love it. And I don't feel like it brought me anywhere. So, okay, there's a very loud bird. But I have to have the window open because I'm dying. It's like 30 degrees in here. Please go away. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, missing person. I was not impressed. Um, but anyway, I'm excited to try the other ones. So the other ones are Amelin, Apricot Privé, Not Your Baby, Lost Cause, and Floria. So, oh, and I got this because, I actually am glad I got this because I was going to get Missing Person in the travel size just because I was like, what is this perfume everyone's talking about? But I'm glad I got this little, these little minis because I don't like it that much. So yeah, but I got this. And anyway, those other ones that I was interested in, Not Your Baby and Missing Person are always sold out. So if you wanted to try them, try and see if you can pick this up. Another set that I got, someone screaming is the Kosas Plump and Juicy Lip Set and I do not know why no one is talking about this so actually the Sephora's around me had this out in like May and I was like wait what? These products haven't even like launched yet on the Sephora app so it was the Kosas Lip Collagen Booster and the new Kosas Lip Liner and then this is an old product, the Kosas Lip Treatment Gloss, but it's, um, is it a new shade? I'm not sure. Anyway, I was like, wow, I haven't seen this anywhere. It's not even on the Sephora app. And then I went to the cache with it and they were like, where did you get this? I was like, <laughs> on the floor? They're like, oh, we can't sell this to you. I was like, okay. <laughs> so... I don't know what happened, and still to this day, this set I, is not on the Sephora app, at least not on Sephora Canada, but it's a really good set because it was $41, but it's a $62 value, and the lip liner and the lip treatment gloss are full-size products. It's only the collagen booster that's a mini, and I did try this already because I was very curious about it, and it's very interesting because normally a collagen product is in like a lip oil or like some kind of liquid lip balm form but this is like a lip balm, like a thick balm and it was very interesting and it felt really nice on the lips and I also think you can wear all three together I guess that's the idea, that's why it comes in a set and it would look really nice because the lip liner is like a brownie nude that I love. It's called, well, it, they describe it as a warm pink beige. It's the shade Max. I'm very excited about it. The lip treatment gloss is in the shade Unzipped. It's a milky pink champagne. And the collagen booster is just clear. So, yeah. I'm excited to try all three of these together 
but until now all I can tell you is I do like the lip collagen booster I haven't tried the others yet oh but then I got this so this is from holiday last year but for some reason it came back on the Sephora app and it was like $20 off I think or maybe more it's the Sephora favorites holiday must-haves and this is something I wanted to buy during the holidays um, but I felt like it was too expensive and it never went on sale until now when it's way past last year holiday but this was $71 and it's a value of 202 and the main reason I was like I need to have this is because it has a beauty blender in it and I have never tried a beauty blender if you can imagine um, so I'm very excited about that and that's like $28 right there and then it has my favorite a Mac Fix Plus Mini. Let me just open this so you can actually see what it looks like. A Mac Fix Plus. It has this Benefit 24 hour brow setter, another clear brow gel. <laughs> but I've heard really good things about that. I really like leave-in conditioners and this one is from Way. I haven't tried it yet, but there's that. And there's another one of the Kosas Wet lip glosses. So I went from having none of those to now having two. <laughs> but this one has like a reddish tint, so it's a different shade. Oh, this was a NARS Laguna, but I already had it because it was the birthday gift last year. So I gave that to my mom. And this is a mini Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. It's only three shades, but I feel like those are really good shades to do like a one one and done kind of look. And it's actually um, a mini Biba palette. So I'm very excited about that too. I already have a few of these Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Peels. I haven't tried it yet, but they're very expensive. And then the mascara is a Fenty Beauty. What was this called? Fenty Beauty. It's a full size, obviously. Oh, full frontal. Volume Lift and Curl Mascara. So I did have a mini of this and I remember, I think I liked it. I think. I could be wrong. So anyway, there's a mascara. But yeah, I'm very excited about it. Oh, and this Milk Hydro Grip. I have tried that in a sample. I wasn't like blown away. But maybe now that I have like a deluxe size and I use it, you know, multiple times, I'll have a better idea of it. But anyway, I thought that was a really good deal because I think I paid $50 for this and it was 71 but like I said, just a beauty blender in Canada is $28. So really good deal on this, I feel. So that was it for the like set things. Um, then I have a lot of blushes. <laughs> so this is a product I had an alert on to like tell me when it's back in stock. It's the Janessa Myricks Dewy Cheek and Lip Palette. I've wanted this like since it came out, but it's been out of stock basically since it came out. Um, it looks like this. It's just cream blush, but I love these shades and I've heard really good things about this again. So I'm going to have to use this. It's like sweating because it's so hot, but yeah. I'm very excited about it. I don't want to swatch it right now because um, I'm worried it looks kind of melty. So I'm just going to let that sit for a bit. <laughs> but um, yeah, stay tuned for like a testing new makeup video um, because I definitely want to try this out soon. Another product I believe, did I have an alert on this? Or I may have just went on Sephora 
at the right time because this is always out of stock. The Dior Backstage Rosy Glow Blush. I finally got it. Um, this is viral on TikTok again, I guess. I don't know if that means anything, but it's this guy. There's only two shades, this one and like the coral one, but this is the one everyone's talking about. And I'm going to show you, it looks very boring in the pan, but it's one of those shades that like reacts with your pH or whatever. And it's supposed to look really nice on everybody. I haven't tried it yet, but there it is. Another blush, and I have another blush right here. The rest of this is just gonna be random. Look at my bag. It's embarrassing. <laughs> anyway, another blush. This one I just bought because it went on sale. The Pat McGrath Labs Divine Blush Duo in the shade Divine Rose 2. I don't know why this was the only shade on sale of these. I'm not sure why. Maybe because it was from an earlier collection, but it's beautiful. It's the duo ones where the flowers and the, the rest of the pan are a different shade. So you can use one, like you can use them by themselves or mixed together. So I'm very excited about this, but I have another one of these. Because when these came out, I bought the one that I really wanted, which was Cosmic Coral. But then this one went on sale, and I really, I haven't even tried it yet, so that one might have been a bad idea. But I had to get it, because it's so pretty. <laughs> anyway, I'm sweating. Sweating. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to film the rest of this video on a different day, because I'm literally dying. Um, I think I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> uh, so in the next clip, I'm probably gonna look different, but I'm gonna have to stop. I'm sweating, like, yeah. So I'll see you in the next clip. So continuing on with my crazy bag here, I had to get this Urban Decay Vice Lip Bond because everyone is raving about these. So this is a unbreakable liquid lip color, instant shine and all day intensity. And this was very interesting to me because, well, I can't really figure out what it is, <laughs> but this is the packaging. It's really fun. Um, and if you can hear that. So there's something in here that's like shaking the whole component inside is what it seems like like it's not like those little balls there's it's like the packaging itself I don't know how to describe that but anyway um so this is a doe foot applicator and the color I got is called safe word I believe yeah safe word so from what I understand this is like a liquid lipstick but it's always going to stay shiny and not transfer. So basically it's like the same thing as the new House Labs Atomic Shake, I think. Um, it sounds like it's the same kind of deal. So I guess these are like popular again. I don't know. I was just very intrigued and I wasn't planning on getting this actually because I'm trying not to buy so many lip products although I have more <laughs> in this bag um, but when I saw the colors I was really like drawn towards it I don't know it just looks like a fun product um, from Urban Decay so I wanted to pick this up I haven't tried it yet obviously so I don't really have much else to say about it another lip product is the Huda Beauty Silk Balm Icy. So this is um, her like silk balm lip balm, like liquid lip balm, but it's supposed to have like an icy plumping effect, like a cooling effect. Um, I did actually try this when I first got it because I was just like 
what is this? Um, and it didn't really feel cooling like it said it would. So I don't know about this one. I'll have to keep testing it out. Um, and mainly I got it because of the scent. It said it was a blue raspberry scent and that's exactly what it smells like. Like some kind of popsicle. And yeah, so I had to try it. And the applicator on this one is interesting too. It's like a flat doe foot, but it's pointed. And it doesn't go on blue, obviously. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, basically just like a lip plumper. I don't know why I got this. <laughs> I was just really sucked into this one as well. Oh, another lip product. So this one I got because it was on sale. The Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Lipstick. Um, these were like 50% off or something really good. Maybe not 50%, but I don't know. And I was pleasantly surprised by how luxurious this feels. I mean, it's Natasha Denona, so I don't know what I was expecting. I should have been expecting luxury, but it's very heavy. And it's a nice um, magnetic component. And I got the shade Allison, and it looks very beautiful. I didn't swatch it or anything before I bought it. I just went off the color of the, you know, the lipstick itself. But this looks like um, a brown kind of mid-tone nude that I really like. So I'm very happy that I got this actually. I think it was only like $21 which I know for some people is still a lot, but it's Natasha Denona and it feels like really nice and luxurious, like I said. Uh, so yeah, I'm very excited to try this. It looks like a nice, like creamy formula. I actually haven't heard many people talk about this except for um, Patty Alonzo. I think she really likes those, so yes. I guess we're going to keep going with lip products because <laughs> I have another one. Another one that I bought on sale. So you see a trend like I buy things because they're on sale but like I wouldn't have bought them otherwise so am I really saving? No. But I had to get this. Um, this is from the Pat McGrath Bridgerton collection, the newest one. I have never seen the show Bridgerton. It's really not my thing. I hate like that era of anything. I don't know, it's just so boring to me. Uh, but I have heard it's really good. But the lipstick is so cute. So that's what it looks like. And a lot of people were saying this felt like kind of cheap, like this, the cat part. And I guess so, but I don't know, the whole thing together is really cute. And the bot, like the bow part is heavy. I don't know, I just feel like it's, it kind of like the Natasha Denona was heavy on the bottom, but the cap was light. I guess that's just how they make these things. Um, so this one is Nude Romantique, right? Nude Romantique 2. Uh, this looks the same as <laughs> the Natasha Denona. Oh my god, let's watch them. I haven't even touched these yet, so... But you can see what kind of shades I like. Well, I think the Natasha is a bit lighter. Let's see. Oh, and by the way, that's all the product you get in the Natasha one. Ooh, pretty. This might be more like a pink than I thought. And this is the Pat McGrath one. I feel like there's more product in this one. Yeah, I definitely think this is going to be a deeper shade. Oh, and it's more like sheer and glossy. Uh, so that's the Pat McGrath Nude Romantique 2 and that's the Natasha Denona. Well, they're actually very similar. <laughs> Oh, 
geez. But I think you can see the difference in the formula. The Pat McGrath one is very glossy. So I'm excited to try this. I don't think there's a scent on this. No. On the Pat McGrath. But I forgot to say on the Natasha Denona, it has a really nice, like, vanilla kind of cake smell, I guess. That's probably not what it is, but that's what it reminds me of. So I am very excited to try these out. I hope I like this shade because it's more pink than I thought it would be, but I think it's going to be nice. Let me wipe those off before they get all over everywhere. Um, another lipstick. This is uh, not pretty bad. So this is the Rare Beauty Kind Words Matte Lipstick in the shade Talented. So I knew I was going to pick this up when I heard about it because I have to try every Rare Beauty product. So it looks like this. It's not as heavy as the other two, but it's also not as expensive. And you push the bottom to take the lipstick out. And this one is more brown. I guess I should have kept those other swatches so I can compare, but... And look how fun that looks. So I did also get a lip liner because they launched at the same time. But I didn't want to get the lip liner that goes with the lipstick because I like when my lip line is a bit deeper than my lipstick because it gives more like definition, I guess. So the lip liner shade I got is Wise. And I think this is like more, a lot actually deeper than the lipstick. So that's the packaging. You have the shade here. Yeah, so this looks like a deeper brown. Ooh, I think I'm really going to like that. I love a deep, like, I guess this is more cool tone brown. And then the lipstick, yeah, is much lighter. There's not a lot in this one either. I guess that's how lipsticks are. I don't know. <laughs> I should compare with my other ones. So that's the lipstick and the lip liner. I think that's going to be a really fun combo. I love my 90s browns, as you might know from my other videos. So I'm excited about that. And that one is a lot more matte than the other two from Pat McGrath and Natasha Denona. Do I have more lip products in here? Yes. Why did I even ask myself that? Okay, so I also got the Fenty Beauty Poutsicle Hydrating Lip Stain. Uh, I got the shade My Type, but it's My, like M-A-I, like a Mai Tai, I guess. This is the packaging, really fun. I have not tried this one either. Um, I meant to get around to using this. No scent on that. But that's the shade. Um, so this is a stain, so I don't think I'm going to swatch it um, because I have other things to swatch probably. Should I? Okay, whatever. Who cares? I'm not going anywhere. Ooh, that's really pretty. So that's the shade. Um, so from what I've heard about these is they do stain like pretty intensely. So you can apply it like that and then wipe it off and you'll still have the stain underneath. So yeah, I don't know. There's that. I wish I got around to using that more like now in the summer because in the fall I'm not going to want to reach for a shade like this but I don't know. Let me wipe it off and see if it's stained already. Oh my god, yeah. So. Very quick staining effect. <laughs> oh, I think that's it for lips. I don't even know what's at the bottom of this bag anymore. But so I'm just gonna pull randomly now. 
Um, this is the Dr. Jard Sick Apair Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. I got this because it's also SPF 30. And I thought I would be using this in the summer again. I don't know who I think I am. Like, I don't even wear makeup half the time. <laughs> I expected to get use out of all these products, it seems. So, I don't know if you've seen this, but it's very interesting because it's green. But when you blend it out, it kind of like becomes the tint of your skin. Oh, and this is the mini size, by the way, because I just wanted to try it out. So it's just a little mini jar like this. Um, yeah, so it says neutralizes redness and protects skin, improves skin appearance to be vibrant. Oh, that's it. <laughs> okay, so this is what it looks like. It's a green cream, but yeah, as you blend it out, it supposedly becomes more like your, a skin shade. So I got some on my hand. Let's just see. So I've seen people use this as like a tinted moisturizer and that's all. Yeah, so it's definitely neutralizing oh that is really cool yeah so i ha i haven't tried this again so i don't know like if there's coverage to it if it's basically just a sunscreen but i don't mind because those are the kind of products that i like today i'm actually wearing the fenty blurring skin tint and I don't remember it being so like, it's not full coverage, but it's like, I don't know, medium coverage in my opinion. Yeah, I'm just not used to like wearing foundation anymore. Oh, so that's what the shade became when I wiped it off. So yeah, I'm very interested in this. I should probably get to using this because it has SPF in it, which means it's going to expire in, oh, not so bad, 2025. So I have some time on this one. So, because I don't know if you guys follow my deck of panning, I'm trying to finish the Drunk Elephant Umbra tint or whatever. Um, and that is expired. So, yeah. But that one is not. Like it's tinted from the get-go. Yeah, and it's more like a glowy kind of thing. So I feel like they're very different. And really you should wear SPF all year, so yeah. Even if I only get to that later in the year, it's gonna be fine. Um, this one is super cute. It's, I already opened this, obviously, but it's the Pat McGrath Labs Mini Eyeshadow Palette in Midnight Voyage. So this is, I knew it was gonna be a mini, but this is like <laughs> very mini. Um, but I think it's really cute and I really like the packaging. So I think it's a nice touch because this is actually like engraved in the plastic. It's not a sticker, which is nice. But look how small oops, the pans are. Oh my god, it's a baby. Um, but that's fine because I'm not going to go through my eyeshadows anytime soon. So yeah, I'm very excited to try this. I only have the holiday palette from Pat McGrath, the first one. And her other mini that she did where it's just like a clear plastic packaging. Um, so this one is a lot, I don't know, it's more, I just like it overall better, the packaging and the color story. Um, but also, if you didn't know, six, no, there's six shades in here and five of them are existing shades in her, like, mothership palettes, which I also found very interesting because I don't own any of those. So I'm really excited to try the formula of this too. This one I feel like I mentioned before. I don't know. But I got the Rose Ink Spring Lip Edit Limited Edition set. 
So this was $55 Canadian, but it's an $85 value. But I think I paid $30 for it because it was on sale. And I believe it's still on sale on the Sephora Canada app if you wanted to pick this up. I think it's a really good deal. Um, oh, so I do have more lip products. Um, but yeah, it's a really good deal, especially if you wanted to try the Rose Ink lipsticks because you get three of them in here so their lipstick is a refillable component so you get one in the component and then two refills so you can like switch them out whatever depending which ones you want so let me show you the shades of these they looked really pretty and I really like this packaging I love the rose ink packaging in general did I break this already? <laughs> I think it's broken. Okay, I don't know how this works, but I can't turn it up. I can't turn it when it's in the component, so I don't know what happened here. Did I break this? But anyway, that's the lipstick that was in the component when it as it comes it's a really fun looking bullet let me swatch this oh it's very sheer and glossy like the pat mcgrath one so that is the shade oh i fixed it it just wasn't in deep enough so you have to make sure you hear the click when you put it back in thank god because <laughs> i was not um happy with having to use like the little refill thing when I have the component so that was the shade poetic and these are called the satin lip colors so yeah it's a satin formula and yeah so don't mind the stain from the Fenty um then there's the shade coquettish so the shade names are on the top of the refills and um, the sticker is the shade of the lipstick. Yeah. So this one looks like this. The reason I got this is because I don't feel like these are particularly spring shades anyway. Like this shade is more of a fall shade in my opinion it's more like a deeper mauve tone so that's pretty and the last one is called serene and that's even deeper yeah this is definitely a fall shade for me that one's more like a berry but these look really nice at least in the swatch. We'll have to see how they apply on the lips because they are quite sheer, but I think that's not how they're gonna translate. It's just because of like the satin formula when you swatch them, but we'll have to see. So yeah, I'm excited about these. I should really add at least one of them to my fall shop my stash. Cause um, yeah, I just, brought in a lot of bullet lipsticks into my collection with this haul, which I didn't realize until now. So I'm gonna keep that in a little box for now. And I think the shades in here are limited edition to this box set. I could be wrong, maybe just two of the three, but I'm pretty sure I heard that somewhere. So if you like them, maybe check if you can still get that set on sale. So this I picked up a while ago and I really wanted to use it in a video for like a summer look and now I feel like it's maybe too late but I did get the Fenty Beauty Toasted Swirl Bronze Shimmer Powder because I couldn't resist it. I got the shade Chocolate Swiller which is like there's only two shades and this is the lighter one. So the reason I got this is because first of all when I saw it in store, I didn't realize it was so big and the packaging is really cute. 
So it looks kind of like a marbled effect. It's really pretty. And that is the bronzer. So it says it's a bronze shimmer powder. I think the idea is you can put it anywhere, like on your body and all that. But I got it to use as a bronzer, or at least to apply like in my highlighter bronzer area. And I had to get the brush that goes with it because, I don't know. <laughs> I just felt like I needed to. This was actually a blind buy. I saw it on the Sephora app and I really liked how the shape looked. But in store there was no tester and I didn't want to be that person that like opens boxes of products because no one should do that. But yeah, so I just got it. Anyway, you can see it on the packaging. But I just felt like this was the perfect brush to launch with this product, so I think they really did well on that. And anyway, they upsold me on it, so I assume other people fell for it as well. But it's a really fun looking brush. It comes like this, it has a gold handle, and it's called the 190 Bronzer Brush. At least that's what it says on here. And it says Fenty Beauty. And it has pink bristles. And it's just like the softest thing ever. So, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like chiseled. And this side is more slanted than the other. So the idea is like you swirl it in the pan and then you just swipe it on like so. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I haven't even swatched this product yet. I just put it back in this bag and meant to do a video, like I said, but I never got around to it. So yeah, but I'm very excited to use this. So let's swatch the bronzer. Oh, and there's a nice big mirror in the palette. Ooh. Feels very soft. So that's how the shade looks when you swirl them both together because you kind of mix the deep and the light um, to get like a bronzer shade. Oh my god, that looks really pretty. If you can see, it's kind of hard to tell on camera. Um, but it's obviously not like a bronze, it's more like a bronzer topper, I feel. But yeah, I should have, again, started using that in the summer months because it would have been really pretty, but I just haven't been wearing much makeup. So that's the pan. You can see after I swirled around in it, kind of like, I don't know, did that. So if that tells you anything. Here's the other Pat McGrath Divine Blush Duo. Um, now that I see this, I realize it's the same packaging as the other one. I thought the other one had like a special packaging for some reason. And now like they're both going to look the same. Oh well. Because <laughs> uh, I was planning on keeping the packaging to help me distinguish them. Because the component itself is just black. So, But this is the first one I bought when they first launched. And this one, the packaging, is not good. It's very hard to open. And I thought that's how they just, just how they were, but the, the other one I showed you first is not like that. So this one is the shade Cosmic Coral. It's really pretty. So I, when I was buying the other one, I was like, let me make sure it's not the same as this one. But yeah, the other one is more like a true pink blush. And this one, if you can tell, this is more like a mauve shade with a pink. So if you mix them together, it's going to give you like a more... In my opinion, this is more like fall toned. I don't know. Even though it's called Cosmic Coral. But yeah. So... Now I have two of these. And I think there's just one more thing in this bag. Yes. So, 
another palette i had to get this the anastasia beverly hills nouveau palette i bought this like when it launched because i was so excited that they released a palette that looks like in the style of their old ones like modern renaissance and subculture and all that before they went all norvina crazy <laughs> but so this is the packaging it's really pretty it looks like a nice like clutch or something or like a fancy wallet i don't know it it's like a fabric material with like a gold detail here and then inside, there's obviously this plastic thing. These are the shades. And I just felt like this was so pretty. It does remind me a lot of the, at least like this half of the palette. Is this not exactly like um, Natasha Denona mini retro? It's like the same shades. I decided to get it anyway even though it reminded me of that because i like it so much but also because the other half of the palette is also really pretty and this palette is getting like really good reviews well it was when it came out i guess it's already old news but people are saying like this is one of their best palettes and a f really the best palette they've released in a while so i'm very excited to use this i don't really feel like it's a fall palette well maybe this these four shades you could get a nice fall look with those but the rest here this is more like a spring palette in my opinion like a garden kind of theme but yeah i'm very happy to have this i'm gonna use this at some point too so I think that's it. And then I just wanted to show you some of the samples I got. Well, some of them are good, but this one is just like a perfume sample. But it's from Maison Louis Marie. And it's the Bois de Balincourt. <laughs> I don't know. Very Parisian. But I picked this one because the notes are sandalwood, vetiver, and amber wood. And that just sounds like everything i like in the fragrance so i am very excited to try this and then this was the rms beauty re-evolve radiance lock and primer this is a deluxe sample and this was i had this on my loves list because i just really was intrigued by the sound of it and how it's described but i am on a primer no buy so i picked the sample up instead and it's just this little guy so this is another it is adding to my primer category because i count deluxe samples in my inventory but i mean it's better to get a sample than to spend money on the full size when i don't need it plus it's like 50 dollars. so this way i can see if i even like it first and then I also got a Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Blush Sample. And I wanted to get the sample specifically because I've heard this product is very like hit or miss depending on the shade that you get. Apparently like the formula is not consistent in the shades. Um, but it's a nice big size. Like this will last me forever because it's a cream blush. Um, and this is the shade Provence. So it kind of looks like a light, a lighter nude blush, at least in this image. But yeah, again, another product I am happy to try a sample of because I didn't want to buy it considering it had so many mixed reviews. And then they were doing a really good, um, deluxe sample hair hair products but like these are huge these are like i call these travel size so like these are something you, they charge you for and i got like two sets of them you can imagine with all this product i was able to get some perks so i had to get the briogeo scalp revival charcoal and coconut oil shampoo 
This is one of my favorite shampoos. I do have the full size of it, but it's getting very low. And I'm hoping that the rest of what I have in the tub, because the full size is in a tub, and then this will like tide me over until the next VIB sale because I might have to repurchase it at that point, but I was happy to see this one. And this is huge. Like, that's a big sample. And then I got the Brioche, no, not Brioche, Sol de Janeiro uh, Milky Leave-In Conditioner. So this is the same fragrance as their like Boom Boom Cream from what I understand. I haven't tried it yet because I actually have a lot of, um, oh yeah, it, sound, it smells just like it. Um, I actually have a lot of, what do you call this? Leave-in conditioners now <laughs> to go through. So this will be like a backup. Um, but I have another one of these and another um, color wow dream coat thing because that was one of the options too. So yeah, this was a very good perk because these are like products you actually would buy in the Isle of Doom as I call it before you get to the cash. And I that like color wow one is like 20 something bucks I feel. And I got it for free. So always check on the Sephora app specifically, like all the offers, because sometimes they're really good. But anyway, that is it for my haul. Well, my Sephora haul. <laughs> I have other things to haul, but I'm glad I got this done, so now I can put this stuff away. And I did rearrange my new makeup drawer so that this would all like fit in there nicely, I hope. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, I hope you liked this video. Um, if you did, give it a like. It will help me know if you guys are liking hauls or, you know, if I should keep going with them. I don't mainly film hauls because I like them for myself. First of all, to remind myself what I bought and gives me like video ideas. But also, I just feel like after I haul, I can put everything away and organize my stuff. So I like that too. So yeah, give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.